Alan Teachworth here, continuing with Crusader of Sensei. Today we'll be heading to Hot Daisy. Having rescued the penguin from the octopus, something I didn't expect to be saying this morning, we are going to be going to a volcano kind of region. Oh, I gotta watch that. More important though, you gotta watch out for the fire dragons. You'll see them in just a minute. For now, let's see if we can get some money. And... Ah, I think I can't jump it. Oddly enough, there's a way to get to it with jumping. Basically from the top of the bridge here. But we won't get that built to you until way later in the game. Okay, these guys are pretty easy to hit if you've got Penguin Pingy attached. Okay, gotta be quick here because it's gonna turn into a... Oh, there it goes. And that oh, okay. Quick, 174 coins. Uh, not quite 800 yet, but uh, we're getting there. Okay. I believe that they said that um, the fortune teller was in uh, I Iris, I think. I said Iris. Ah, we'll figure it out soon enough. Yep, that's why we needed the penguin, and we're past it. Okay, opportunity for a little more money here, though. Always nice. Oh, for some reason hitting it, like the sword swinging at it, does not work. Oh. Or, you know, maybe I just never tried. I don't say that. I don't think it actually works. I think you actually have to throw your sword to hit it. I remember getting killed by those a lot the first time, for some reason. Okay, oh, okay, we want the treasure. With that gold. Excellent. 200? Eh, 204. Alright, a quarter of the way there. Very nice. Okay. Uh, very Mario esque flame traps. And I think we're almost done with this area. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I think this just goes down to the. Yeah, there's really no point to that. Jump this. There's stereotypical collapsing bridge. I'm gonna have the last word for this fire dragon. And he has disappeared into the nether. Okay. Going to burn Daisy. Just more of like the inside of the volcano, I suppose. Which is strange because it looks like we're getting away from it. Okay, can't freeze that one. Because it's not spouting. So let's go underground. I really like this music track. For some reason, just the kind of jazzy feel to it just really appeals to me. Okay, main enemies here are slimes. Which, hey, kudos. It took this long for the game to get the slimes. And again, I think it took a while for Zelda, actually. Were there slimes in the first dungeon of Zelda? Hmm. Comments, answer me. Thank you. Okay, you gotta be careful here because you can see the floor is falling apart. This place is kind of mazy too, so it's, it's easy to get lost. First, let's capture this guy. Okay. Now the basic block solution puzzle. I your apples here. Yep. Okay. Okay, gotta watch out for the flame guys. I remember as a kid, he used to catch me all the time, the, the, like here. I just couldn't get through my head, you could throw the switch, throw your sword down like that. I would say I got stuck quite a bit in this game back in the day. This and Breath of Fire 1. I remember Breath of Fire 1 just didn't have a lot of obvious uh, solutions. Like It would put you in a situation and not really give you information on where you needed to go. Money! There we go. Looks like it's about 35. Okay. A little weird number for money, but no, uh, not complaining. Money is money. Except for that coin. I don't like that coin. Uh, okay. Uh, again, been a while, so I'm not entirely sure where to go. This place is very maze-like, as I said before. 
Let's see. Guess we're getting some coins. Okay. It's all secrets here, too. Like, uh, again, I don't have the ability to. I can jump. I could technically do the second uh, training route. I'm going to save that for later, though, when I can do all the last two of them. Oh, something was under the bridge. Okay, jumping over here. I think I could have made that. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Okay. And dead end. <sighs> okay, well, we got this. We got this. There's only so many places we can go. Didn't quite make it. That's kind of neat because these areas have some spots you can tell you're going to be revisiting. And we will, but uh. At the time, you don't think much about it, I suppose. I guess this wasn't a trope yet. Oh god, it became a trope later. I remember Skyward Sword had me backtracking all over the bloody place. Okay. We've gotta be good. Uh, I'm, I'm here again. Bear with me, people. Okay. You know, I remember first hearing about this game and all those little game magazines you used to get at the uh, Scholastic Book Fairs in school. Just like game tips. I remember having one that had the solutions, the final solution to a boy and his blob. Lord knows I never got that far in that game. Uh, I remember one Nintendo game we played as a ninja with like, oh, okay, that was close. Like a ninja with a three-pronged sword, and you had to find pieces of it. Never really understood that one, but uh, okay, okay. Again, the basic box puzzle. Okay, I think yeah, I think we're on the right track now. You are. You'll know we're in the right place when you see the. I believe it's a dead bird. Okay, a bit morbid, but. Money? Is there money over here? No, there's not. Nothing but disappointment. Just like my parents. No. Okay. It's an interesting one. You can jump over the flames, but you can't jump over normal monsters. Oh, okay. See right there? It because it hit the wall, it passed straight through the slime. Just a minor gripe. It doesn't really affect anything. Okay. Clearly a boss situation, right? Well, no. Again, when I first played this, I was stuck here for a while because I couldn't figure out what they wanted me to do. It turns out, there's nothing we can do. We're not meant to come here yet. I'm not going to argue with the programmers, but personally, since it means nothing right now, I probably would have put like a, uh, I would have blocked that passage so you couldn't see it at all. Okay, uh, pass over here. Money! Also, we're getting money pretty quick. Maybe it won't take so long for us to get that. Oh, there we go. Dead bird. Burn to ashes. Okay. Not much we can do about it. Strangely cactus shaped block there. Or piece of land. Okay, now we're at the boss. But again, there's some apples right here. So we want to heal up as much as possible. Just in case. Now this green goober is the next boss. And he's a bit of a. Well, he's a tricky one, but it's a pretty obvious trick. So, yeah. He splits into a bunch of pieces, and you have to hit the shut the one that flashes. Again, this has become rather cliche today. I can think of about five or six games that used a similar boss. But at the time, I suppose it was new enough. Oh, and... 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 Okay. 
it's annoying is it, since it is random, sometimes they'll pile up on each other. You, you'll see which one it is, but you won't be able to hit him. I'll say two more hits will do it. Yeah. Sometimes he just, uh, three hits. Okay, sometimes he just goes wild, bouncing all over the place. You feel like there's a little ballerina pirouette and he's moving, though. Strange that he's clapping whenever I do it, too. Oh, well. If he doesn't want to live in this world anymore, it's his business. One more will do it. Okay. One. One thing I do appreciate about this game is that none of the bosses repeat. There's no... And, huh, graceful death. Boing! Yeah, but there's no, like, boss rush. They don't pad out a section with, like, going through old bosses. Just a nice, it's nice to see that. Again, not so much as a cliche at the time. Still, it's nice to see you. It's nice for variety's sake, because it always feels a bit cheap when it's just the same bosses again and again. And boy, he's boinging for a long time. Okay. Sorry about that. I think... I tried to edit that out. I think I was watching Poirot and it reached the big climax scene. Okay, health up. And we're done. This should be Daisy. Oh, new animal. Swallowed by that blood. Okay. So now we have the Flying Squirrel, Seal. I'm not going to remember these names. Seal the Flying Squirrel. Whatever. <laughs> His ability is to rebound. Whenever you throw him into your sword, your sword will rebound off of walls. Also, finally, can you put the dog up? Because he doesn't. The dog doesn't do anything worth doing. Okay. And as you see, it now bounce off walls. It also goes a little bit further than the normal sword swing, too, so that's useful. Finally, we have reached the edge of Iris. Oh, hang on. Don't know if there's anything up here. Maybe treasure? No, nothing up here. Okay, false alarm. Anyway, finally, we've reached the edge of Iris. And, uh... Actually, come to think of it, this is a pretty big area. We're gonna go ahead and call it quits for at the moment. Uh, well, I'll see y'all next time.